The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BSF Canada and Invigor Hybrid Canola. I'm Kelvin Hepner for Real Agriculture, and we're pleased to be joined on this episode of the Canola School by Chris Mancher. Chris is the agronomy specialist with the Canola Council of Canada here in southern Manitoba. And Chris, uh, we're going to fast forward a little bit with where we're at in uh, in this field in terms of plant staging. We're going to go ahead of the flea beetle stage through that uh, first weed control pass. Time to think about fungicide and, and sclerotinia control. What are the things uh, that we need to be Uh, considering top of mind when it comes to making that fungicide decision? Yeah, so the decision to spray fungicides is not to be taken lightly. Uh, You definitely want to preserve as much of the yield potential you have in your crop, but you also want to be cognizant that uh, you're not spraying extra fungicide when you don't need to or making extra extra passes in your field. So when I'm looking at making a fungicide decision, it's always great to go back to the disease triangle. And the triangle consists of three components, uh, susceptible host, uh, a favor- favorable environment, and then as well as the presence of the pathogen. So I'm going to talk more about uh, the two factors of favorable environment as well as the presence of the pathogen. Yeah, so the host is obviously here in the field with the canola plants right across western Canada. Uh, the environment, we've had ample moisture on this side of the prairies to say the least, and they've actually had some rain on uh, the western side of the prairies lately as well. So uh, the moisture is certainly part of that environment, equa- the environment factor in that equation. Yeah, so in the weeks leading up to your fungicide timing, definitely keep an eye on how much precipitation you're receiving. Uh, The higher humidity, uh, the hotter it is, uh, is definitely going to create a very favorable environment for sclerotinia to actually have the the sclerotia germinate and produce apothecia. So looking at both of the uh, past uh, precipitation in your area, as well as looking at the forecast in the near future for precipitation is going to be major factors uh, for that environment for that pathogen to be at its most uh, serious implications. There's also the very scientific method of walking through the field and judging how wet your uh, pants get. Yeah, so uh, definitely looking at your kind of overall climate and environment and weather, but you also have to kind of think about that microclimate within the canopy. Uh, Those humid conditions brought on by this lush, dense uh, canopy of canola, and just walking through and having wet pants is usually a great indicator that uh, the opportunity for that apothecia to actually germinate and spread spores is at its most. Okay. So we've just come through a drought, maybe even two drought years. Some areas are, are still in drought. Uh, what does that mean in terms of the presence of the, the pathogen, the pathogen part of that disease triangle? Yeah, so the presence of the pathogen um, in the soil is as sclerotia. So they're very hard, uh, melanized, like kind of a hard rind-like coating on it that unless you receive a lot of moisture, they usually won't germinate. Uh, So even though we've had some very dry years, that sclerotia can still be present in your fields. And if it's still present in here and then we get a moist year, you could see that kind of flush of germination happening from that. Okay. And that's something that we can actually scout for, for those those sclerotia bodies, right? Yes, exactly. So make sure that you're actually kind of getting on the ground uh, throughout your canopy and looking for these little kind of mushroom-like structures and uh, seeing if you see, a, uh, if it's very common to find your apothecia within your field, then that is a high likelihood that spores are going to be released. If you're having a more difficult time finding it, then that risk is going to be a lot lower. Okay. How do genetics play into this decision on whether to go ahead with a, a fungicide and what your risk risk level is? Yeah, so there are some varieties that do have some sclerotinia resistance uh, within them. However, you definitely need to take a look at uh, your seed labeling package for that to see what kind of resistance it's offering. Uh, depending on your risk assessment for that, you may need to still apply a fungicide to get your most optimum level of protection. Okay. Finally then, Chris, we are also seeing some more tools coming on the market or or at least at the experimental stage when it comes to making this decision and and kind of putting together an algorithm potentially for for determining whether we're at high sclerotinia risk or whether it justifies applying a a fungicide. Can you fill us in on on where things are at on that front? Yeah, so this year the Canola Council of Canada is is beta testing a tool for producers and agronomists to assess whether they need to actually apply a fungicide product. And so at uh, sclerotiniariskcalculator.com, 
uh, you can register as a beta tester for that site and using that tool you'll be able to make your own assessment using the calculations provided whether a fungicide application is warranted or not. Okay. So we're looking for beta testers for uh, this year in 2022 and the data that will be provided across the prairies for this year is going to help tailor and um, make that program the best it can possibly be for wide release in the coming year. Okay. And well, next year. What would some examples be in terms of the, the inputs that you put into that? Rainfall, some of the same factors, I guess, that we consider when we're making that call independently without this? Yeah, so uh, past rainfall, uh, chance of rainfall in the future, whether you can find the apothecia on the ground, as well as looking at your rotation. So if you were growing canola in that field in past years or an alternative host like peas, soybeans, or potatoes, all factors into this uh, risk assessment to determine whether you need to apply fungicide. And that website again? Sclerotinia riskcalculator.com. All right. Thanks for your time, Chris. No problem.